this without evidence speaker or the cabinet. Mobile sound systems. Ins, ins, ins. Scratches and cuts. Uh, frequencies at the limit of the audible. Really sound adventure. Whatever the culture is, as long as we don't lose sight of the fact that music really matters. Underground for me is a network of resistance. Yeah, something like a, a mood of resistance. <laughs> That's a bit the idea of the opening day, to really show what music can be, more audiovisual, in, go into any direction. Clubbing music only as a starting point, I would say. The opening night of the festival is kind of different than the other two nights, which is, uh, it's in a gallery and it's more kind of experimental. In the Soviet Union, it started in 1946. It really comes down to people uh, who have a, a curiosity and a love of music who will go to great lengths in order to sort of find this music. Is that this was a time when music was so precious to people, so valuable to people, they would risk going to prison to share it. But these records were uh, used to copy and share those types of music. It's forbidden culture, and there's something of the punk protest about this. It's like young people were saying, fuck you, you know, we're going to listen to what we're going to listen to, uh, and we're not going to be stopped by the authority. Alex is going to cut them to x-ray. Or attempt. Attempt to cut them to x-ray, uh, and then we're going to play them back. Invite a guest performer wherever we do it, and in this case, we're really lucky that we've got Alexander Hacker to come. It's magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's magic. Yeah, I, I think so as well. Yeah. We do everything we normally wouldn't do to a record player. We cut the records up and we. Uh, so the record players in two parts. This is many, many years ago the vinyl was introduced in our line of work. And the reason why is uh, because the, it's very easy to manipulate physically. You can you have it in your hand and you can break it or you can sample it in a very uh, uh, physical way. has a very cinematic uh, feeling to it. We work very much with atmospheres and, and with like, sounds of simple things like a door opening or footsteps to make this kind of cinematic feeling to it that you also feel that there is some sort of a story, but it's very abstract.
My name is MFX and that's my sound machine. I'm doing music with noises. I uh, believe in mistakes, plastic bags, vacuum cleaners, washing machines, leather shoes. These are my sounds. My name is uh, Pablo. Um, I work in many different projects, and uh, probably the most known is uh, Belio Magazine as graphic designer. And then, uh, personally, I'm more interested lately in the visual performance and visual arts as Gesso. For me, working uh, and making all the images for Crake was exciting, and also an important part of it was to be able to do my own thing and um, and having totally freedom to do something, I can stand behind it. Something that uh, when people see it, can see an image of the festival. That is what I thought it would fit to, to the idea of Kraken. That is electronic music, that is underground, has some kind of dark uh, atmosphere, and, uh, and it's something like, um, I don't know, abstract, but at the same time uh, challenging. So I thought that that was a perfect match, so I was really excited about it. Well, the image was like a kind of animal, but uh, a kind of monster or something, a creature that comes from nature, but you don't really know what it is. For me, the most important was to create that question. So people, they have this image on, on, on their brain and it's moving and it's uh, like contributing to the whole experience of what it means to be in the festival. So we started the weekend with the label market uh, at Wiesmühle and we wanted to bring all the Berlin independent labels together and offer them a platform where can, they can interact together and um, some of those were also playing in the night and yeah, so it rounded up the whole festival. For me, Berlin is freedom. Living in Riga Strasse, close to Riga Strasse, this, close to this area, for me is really important. And there's really people living really in the underground, in the squad. I really love to live close to here because I think you can feel really the sense of the underground. 
the tension, the, the, you feel the resistance of these guys. For me it's really important and it influences my music. A lot of time I felt that the rage just going through the streets and uh, and one day the police was here and they just fight with them and it was really full of power full of sounds and um, i was out i said just to start to like make a like feel the recording that sounds good to my my new ep and uh, underground techno is not just a word it's i think a way of life waste and a wave of the cell of mind Underground for me is a network of resistance. Underground is the way to be, is the, the way to be true, is the, is the I think, is the best word to, to express a culture, something against the mass. My influences are kind of like originally it was like Glauan and uh, everything on Fifth Wall Records. There was this really like deep, like lo fi kind of techno with a lot of character. And that all kind of died off. And I studied university and started doing sound design with like uh, noise music and futurism. I think I like techno, I like the, the raw aesthetic of the kind of techno that I make. Kind of no shits given, aggressive, powerful music to make you dance. Sexy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not giving you all my secrets. Jesus. Yeah. It's funny you just say that it sounds quite punk because I've just started listening to punk and fallen in love with it. Like, why haven't I been listening to this my whole life? It's kind of amazing to have. Because I came through that sound through techno, having no idea that it existed in this kind of area. So to find something that kind of runs parallel and is that in sync with it is beautiful. And now I'm getting so much more inspiration from listening to this, this new music, which is punk, which is not me, which is me being ignorant. I'm king of outtakes.
North Wales, uh, a very small town called Hollyhead. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the, the peace and quiet and yeah, the time to create. I've worked in a factory ever since I was a young, well, since I was able to work really. I've worked in a factory, very monotonous, mundane job. Uh, but it's kind of nice to have that and then come home and you know, all day I'm kind of looking forward to making music. So I like the balance of the shitty day job and the looking forward to coming home and making something good and new and experimenting with music you know so subconsciously it's it's there's something there within the monotony of the day job that obviously reflects in the music sometimes as well you know? and also the darkness and the boy <laughs> I, I do i've always liked the darker side of life mm -hmm. eraser head uh, blade runner uh any kind of horror film really <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the old zombie films george romero mm -hmm. uh, John Carpenter again, the, the, the influence there, the music in the films and things, so yeah. Hello to my son Theo, I love you loads mate, take care. music influence on society. I always call it um, sound as a weapon versus sound as a cultural catalyst because it's the two different um, possibilities of using uh, sound for a purpose. And it can be destructive or socially constructive. The Panzer also is something like the, fo the folding between the public space and, and the club, something like that, autonomous temporary zone. I think that was very, very special this year. I think we sort of hit the nail on the head with this year's uh, setup in a way because we we, um, we found so many artists who identified with our idea and we did the label market um, with all the Berlin labels and all these artists related to these labels played over the weekend and you could feel this uh, that, that that was somehow it was bringing everybody together and particularly the Sunday um, where we had left open the last spots on purpose exactly for this and it worked perfect like Maxu Ante, Enrica and Elena when they all played together and all the all, everybody else was there who uh, who we had spent the whole week with 
um, that was really, really special, I think. I got a message for you. Round the planet, what do you see? Self-destruction, destiny. Change your future, make your choice. Lost the music, bring the noise. Hey.